All right, so here we go. Let's actually start building your Podio system. So if you're coming from the video before this, then awesome, welcome to this video. If you haven't seen that first video yet, I recommend going and doing that just to avoid confusion. But uh, if you've seen that video, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna need is a Podio account. Uh, we talked about it in the last video. I recommend you, you have to have the Podio premium account to do the automations that we're gonna do in the fifth video. I'm not gonna do a whole breakdown on how to create a Podio account, so just go to podio.com, sign up for the premium account, pause this video, and, uh, and come back. All right, so I assumed, if you are here still, that you went and created a Podio account. In this video, what we're gonna do is build your contacts app. To do that, we're gonna jump into the computer here. So if I remember correctly, when you get Podio, it may or may not have some apps already installed. These are the apps up here. The ones we're gonna be building in this five part you know, video series is the Contacts app, so Leads app, and then we're gonna build some automation for that. So in this video, it's all about the Contacts app. So what you wanna do is create that after you've deleted all the other ones. To delete an app, um, I believe you can just go into it here, and then you just go click on the wrench, and then go delete app. I'm not gonna be doing that, obviously. So all right, to add an app, click Add App, create your own app and you're going to want to call this contacts and item name contact check this contact you can only have one contact app in your podio you may be able to make multiples but for the sake of smartphone integrating with podio you only want to have one contacts app so it's good. the contacts app is basically the hub of your podio it's where all your new contacts seller leads cash buyer leads anything like that Realtors, you're gonna put them all in this contacts app, and then you can create a bunch of stuff off that, like we're gonna do with the seller leads app. This is all gonna make more sense later. I don't wanna make this too hard. Just make this thing, make it exactly like I make it, so that by the end, everything works together, all right? So, advanced, you're gonna check also these three, these first three, all right? And then you're gonna hit create app. I already have the app created. Let me actually just make sure that mine is set up the same way. So I click that wrench again, app settings, contacts, contact, standard layout, table, advanced, the first three are checked. Okay, so you have that created. What you wanna do next is add a contact. That's gonna bring you to the form to add a contact. It, yours might have some stuff in here already, like name, organization, email, phone number, all that stuff, that is totally fine. Don't delete anything just yet. What we're gonna do is go to Modify Template up here at the top left, and this is where we're gonna move stuff around and create this. So this contact app is not, let me click out of it to show you what it actually looks like. So here's John Doe's contact. Full name, John Doe, seller type, or um, contact type, seller, email, phone, notes generated by. We're gonna make this exact same thing. So to do that, like I said, be in that modify template. Attention to detail is super important when you're making these apps and it's gonna get faster, but this is just some basics. So over here, you can see on the left-hand side, there's like an icon. That tells you what field I have over here in mind. So for instance, this is full name and uh, it's, a, it's a text field. You can see the A here and the A here. So let's start building this thing. So the first one is full name. You're gonna drag the text box over, call it full name, and, uh, and and be done with that, right? I already have mine here. It is a single line when you click this drop down, You might have to pause this video a bunch as we go through this, but build this step by step. The next thing is a category right here. You can tell three bars category. Drag that over. It is a single choice and it is a drop down list. And again, I'm just clicking this bottom arrow here to get there. Label it contact type, and then input all of these fields. You may not need them yet. Just do it anyways, build it exactly like mine is, and then tweak it later once you understand how it all kind of works together. So create these, you do that just by typing one in here, right, and then it'll be there, I'm gonna delete that. The next one is company. Again, this is a text field. It's actually always hidden for me, and it's a single line. Just create it anyways. I know it's always hidden, just make it. Always hidden, single line, and call it company. 
The next one is organization. You can see over here on the left that there's actually not an option for this. This is specifically for the contacts app. So I, I put in here, not in use, do the same thing, label a company, not in use and hide it. Just do it. Just do it. Next thing is email again. So I do see an email over here. So drag this over. If it's not in here already, call it email. It's a, uh, a don't store for some reason. I don't know. Just do it that way. All right email the next one is phone number if you don't have that one already call to make it a call to call it phone all right then you have another text field this is for notes put that in here drag this over it is a multi-line and label it notes then the next one another category column single choice in line generated by and this is when when you add a contact if someone else is adding contacts so when you get a team and you grow if you're not there already you're gonna want to have it's part of your tracking who generated this contact so you're gonna put that here generated by initial correspondence was it a text message that they they were say you sent out direct mail and they they respond to you with a text you want to know that because you want to know that that's kind of their preferred method of communicating. So that's going to be in your tracking. It's a category. It's a single choice in line. And these are the three SMS call email. Create that contact source. Another category single choice in line. These are the contact sources I'm using. Actually, I'm not using PP PPC referrals, direct mail anymore. It's mostly text, cold call and RVM. But just like I said, just put these in here. Just do it. Contact source, single choice in line if I didn't show you that already. And then you've got smartphone number. So this is what's going to connect your smartphone to the lead so that you can text inside the lead, right? And, and everything kind of work together to call the cell phone like you saw in the last one, do stuff like that, or to text from inside the lead. If you have smartphone by itself, you can still text and call in the actual smartphone app, but to do it all in Podio, like I showed you in that last video, you want to have your smartphone numbers here. So if you don't have, you don't have a smartphone account yet. We haven't done that. That's in two, in two videos. So just put filler here. Don't put any dashes, nothing. Just do five, 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 maybe do three numbers there. That's what I did when I built this at first. So just put in some filler numbers there and we'll come, come back and change those later. All right, and that is single choice drop down list. Then you have a stripped phone number. This is a text and it's a single line. And uh, don't worry about seeing numbers in here. We're gonna address all that with Glo Globiflow later. And then you have address, I believe. Okay, so there's location, but it might already be there. Just call it address. It is, I actually have it always hidden, multi-line and, uh, and show map, right? And then you have website. I think this is always hidden. And again, there's a link one here, but I don't use it. Just make it anyways, if it's not already there. And then photo, uh, that's this image icon and it's always hidden and call it photo, all right? Once you have that, hit done. And then it will save your modified template. And then make sure, so I'm just gonna leave this. So now you should have a con, don't worry about this down here yet. Don't worry about any of that stuff. So you should have it, it should look like this. Make sure that you go back, make sure you go back through Make sure everything that was hidden is supposed to be hidden and everything that's showing is supposed to be showing. Make sure your drop down list has everything in it. Smartphone numbers, that type of thing. And that is it for making the contact app. That's the easy part. It was actually probably, if this is the first app you've ever made, that might have been kind of hard to do, but it's gonna make making the seller leads app, which is in the next video, that much easier because you're already kind of, you're kind of getting a feel for it now. All right, so that's it for this one. Um, 
mark this video complete by liking it if you can. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. And if you have any questions at all, maybe I went over it too quickly or I missed something or you just have any type of question, please drop it in the comments. I will get to it. Happy to answer any questions. And if you have a question, it's a good chance somebody else has the exact same question. So um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I think that'd be awesome. I'm in like the 200s right now. Help me out. That'd be that'd be pretty sweet. Otherwise, I will. Uh, I'm gonna see you on the next video, and we're gonna create the Seller Leads app.